Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked which of the following equations is the most appropriate linear model for the data shown in the scatter plot. So there's a couple ways you could go about solving this problem. You could plug some points in and see which of these equations lines up the closest with the values of those points. You could take two of these points, create the equation of the line between them and see which of these is closest to. But the easiest way is to look at these equations and notice something. We have in these forms, we have a slope and the y-intercept, right? And for A, they're both negative. For B, the slope is negative and the y-intercept is positive. For C, the slope is positive and the y-intercept is negative. And for D, they're both positive. So if we can look in this graph and not find a specific equation, but look at how it's shaped and see, is the slope positive? And is the y-intercept positive or negative? We come up with a combination and only one of those will be fit by our answers. So let's start with the slope. How do you measure whether a slope is positive or negative just by looking at it? Well, if a slope is positive, that means that as x is increasing, going this direction, y is also increasing, so it looks sort of like this. Negative slope means that as x is increasing, y is decreasing. And that is what we're seeing here, right? We start off, x is close to zero, we have a very high value of y, and as x increases, as we go to the right, the value of y decreases, right? It's close to 10, then it's down to 9, all the way down. When x is equal to 5, we're down towards 0, right? So as x is increasing, the value of y is decreasing. Therefore, the slope is negative, right? And already we can eliminate c and d, right? The value of the slope in these equations is 1.9. It's positive, so we know that can't be our answer. And now we're between a and b, which both have negative slopes, but different y-intercepts, right? Like I said, there's no combination that will fit two of these answers. So we have to find the y-intercept, and that will determine whether it's A or B. Well, the y-intercept is where the line, if we did have a line, right, the line that best fits this data, where that intercepts the y-axis. So if, we're gonna use, if I use this pen to approximate the line, it would look something like this, right? You put the line here, it's going to go very close to all these points. It's going to fit them very well. Where does this line intercept the y-axis? Well, if you look at it right here, it's about here, right? It doesn't have to be exact, but let's call it right here. Is this positive or negative? Well, it's above the x-axis, right? And we can actually see the values of y here, right? It's a little bit above 10, which will, you know, give you a clue that it might be this, but it's above the y-axis. It's a positive value. Therefore, we know it's B. And like I said, it's a little bit above 10, which makes sense why the value of the y-intercept in B is 10.1. So therefore, A, B, and not A is your final answer because the slope is negative and the y-intercept is positive.